I got choked. I just, I would not wish that on nobody, y'all. What is up you guys? It is your girl Unique the Iconic. We are back here with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be another story time. I know a lot of you all really do enjoy listening to my stories and basically just kind of getting to know more about me. So I decided to give you all something a bit more personal. Um, the story that I want to tell you all is a bit more touchy. Um, I never really spoke too much about this to really anyone. But um, I do hope that, you know, this story can definitely reach out to some people who may be going through a similar situation, such as the one that I um, used to, I experienced myself. But um, if y'all want to know more about that, definitely stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. So uh, me and this guy, we met at the gas station. Literally, I think that anyone that i've met at the gas station i am still very good friends with to this day like i don't know what it is just about the gas station when you meet people i, I don't know i don't know what it is but you can meet someone at a club and literally only speak to them once and then that's it it's over with but people you meet at the gas station it's like you be knowing them for forever i don't i don't really know what it is but yeah so we met at the gas station um he came over to my car when I walked inside to go um, pay for my gas. So when I walked out, I see him standing by my car. He was like, oh, I'm gonna pump your gas for you. I'm like, huh, you gonna pump my gas for me? Like, you coulda paid for the gas. <laughs> I'm just playing y'all, but he was like, yeah, I'm gonna pump your gas for you. So he pumps my gas and he was like, you know, um, if you would like, I would love to take you out. You know, I really want to take you out. I think you're beautiful, da da da, blase blase. So, fast forward, we end up going on a date. Um, you know, the date went well. It, it wasn't really anything that kind of made me feel uncomfortable that happened or, um, you know, I just kind of felt like, you know, normal, everything went well. It wasn't really nothing too crazy. So, um, most of the time between me and him, we fell out a lot, not like on bad terms, it's just that I went to school that was like three, four hours away. So it was kind of hard to kind of really be able to date him and actually like see him because I was so far away. So anytime I would come home from like school, you know, I would just meet up with him. We would hang out and blase blase. So I think a year passed and then I came home for like summer. And then that's when we um, actually started, you know, dating some more and actually taking each other ser seriously. You know, fast forward during that time, you know, I actually started looking at him in the light as in, okay, I actually think that I can take you seriously. Like I actually do see like a relationship with you. So um, fast forward, um, we finally decided to go and take it that next step. We never really claimed a relationship. You know, we was kind of just like, you're mine, I'm yours, you're my, um, your your what, yeah whatever <laughs> but yeah so it was i guess you could say situationship you know a lot of us being situationships nowadays but um so everything you know up to that point was 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 perfect you know i wouldn't say perfect but everything up to that point was great you know it was like i was happy we were both we were happy you know and um once we decided to go to the next step, you know, everything was still fine, but I could tell like some things were changing, you know, about him. Like he started to get a little disrespectful. He would sit there and be texting other females while I'm right there. And I'm just like, the audacity, like, don't get me wrong, even though no, we weren't in a relationship just yet, but I just feel like if you're going to text other people, don't do it right in front of my face. Do it like when I'm not paying attention. At least have that type of damn respect, you know? But, you know, I just was getting annoyed. I was just like, come on, like, 
you worked so hard to finally get me and now you're just backtracking. It, it was just like, okay, what are you doing? So um, eventually things just wasn't necessarily going all the way downhill, but I could definitely feel like I was getting annoyed and knowing me and the type of person I am, especially how I was at that time, whenever I feel that there could be something happening that's going that's going to happen or i feel like i'm not being uh, what's the word i'm looking for i feel if I, I basically i will pull away i'll pull away if i feel like i'm not in being um appreciate yeah appreciate if i feel like i'm not being appreciated and that i feel like you think i'm a joke and everything i started pulling away so that's what i started doing you know, we never actually ever got to really hang out as far as like have a full day to each other, have like a, you know, to us girls, you know, stuff like that's really important when you get to actually spend time with a significant other and actually being able to hang out with them for the whole day, the day is just about you all. You know, stuff like that is like really big. We really appreciate stuff like that. So we were supposed to go out for an entire day. He's like, you know what? Let's go out for an entire day, blase, blase and whatever so i'm like okay cool so i get up early y'all i do my makeup i'm over here getting ready getting real cute and stuff like i'm just so excited because i'm going to spend the whole day like this is something that is the first time you know and i wanted to take a lot of pictures i want you know i just wanted to be really you know very intimate you know so um the day starts and he's like okay i gotta run to the chiropractor I'll be back. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run to the chiropractor, then we can meet up. So I'm like, all right, cool. So it's like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. I'm like, it's already in the middle of the day. Like, what are you doing? And so he's like, oh, I gotta go run this errand, run that errand. And I'm like, 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 why didn't you let this be known the days before so that I would not be just sitting around waiting in the house all day? And He's like, I know, I got stuff I got to do. So the day just keeps prolonging, you guys. Like, it just kept prolonging. He kept coming up with excuses to why he could not, you know, finally get us to see each other. And I'm like, we're supposed to be hanging out today, and you're not doing anything. So eventually, that was kind of like that last straw for me, y'all. Like, I was just so annoyed. The whole day went by. He's over here waiting to get some something from some guy, one of his friends or whatever. And I'm like, 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 what are you doing? What's going on? So eventually, I got south over it. You know, I pulled up at his place. I had stuff over his house. I was like, you know what? I texted him. I'm sorry. I called him. I was like, hey, can you bring my stuff out? Just like bring my stuff out. You know, that's all I want. I don't want nothing else. I just want you to bring my stuff out. He hangs up the phone in my face, y'all. He hangs up the phone in my face. And I'm like, no, you didn't. So I get out the car politely. How you? How did you get out the car politely? You know, I'm sorry. I get out of the car and I go to his door. I knock on his door politely. And he opens the door. And I told him, I said, hey. I said, can you just bring my stuff outside? Just leave it outside on the door. I don't care. Leave my stuff. I, I just that's all I want. I just want you to bring me my stuff so I can go about my day. He's like, why do you need your stuff? I said, because I just want my stuff so that I can move on and keep it going. Like I just I'm just kind of over it, and I just want my stuff. So he try he goes and he slams the door in my face, and I'm like, not like a oh when someone's you know when you're standing outside of the door. Like I'm standing like literally mid in the door. My hand is right here on the door. I'm like, just bring me my stuff. He goes, he slams the door, boom, right in my face. And I pushed the door. I was like, hold on, no, you did not just slam the door in my face. So as soon as I pushed the door, all, all, every, everything went left. Everything went left. He goes and he grabs me by the neck. And my job, I'm very, very little. I'm like... Four, four, ten and a half, and I weigh. I'm like a hundred and like twelve to fifteen pounds, depending on what day I want to have. But, but he goes and he drags me by my neck. He grabs me by my neck and like, like pushes me in to his house. And 
at first, you know, he he's a little aggressive, you know, not in a way like a not in a, a bad way, but he is like a little aggressive, you know, like how you when you're playing with your dude, you're like you know, y'all playing and he like, you know, you know, you grab your neck and you just thinking like, oh, you know, it's trying to be funny thing. But that was not the case there. You know, at first I'm like, are you playing? Like, are you serious? You know, I've never seen him in that light before, in that type of, in that type of, I've never seen a type of person before. So, yeah, like I say, he drags me and pulls me in by the neck. Um... He like pushes me to the ground. Oh my, am I about to cry? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, he starts calling me out my name, calling me all types of stuff. Like typically anyone in that particular situation, especially if you, you know, you would start crying, you know, you would, you would just think that you like you would cry. I didn't cry. Surprisingly, I was I was cursing him back out. I was calling him names. I was calling him weak. I was saying, look at you. You look stupid. Eventually, I was trying to fight back and he like pinned me down to the ground and was over there. Oh, God, y'all. I really am trying to give y'all the details, but I just I haven't talked about this in so long, y'all. Um. Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm sorry y'all, sorry y'all, I'm not trying to cry, I'm trying to get through the whole story. Um, you know, at that moment, I didn't feel vulnerable, I didn't feel hurt, I wasn't scared, I was just, I was in attack mode, like I wanted to leave, I wanted to get out, I just, I was trying to fight for my, my life, you know, I just, I didn't know what was going to happen. And... I got choked. I just, I would not wish that on nobody, y'all. You know, this is a person, I'm really not, I'm gonna ruin my makeup. <laughs> you know, that's not something I would wish on nobody, y'all. You know, eventually, I left, um, as soon as I left, as soon as I got in my car, I blocked him, his phone number, everything I could, Instagram, everything I could. And as soon as I got in the car and I did that, like I just burst into tears, y'all. I was like, oh my God, like I cannot believe that that really just happened. You know, like he really did that to me. Like how, how can you do that to someone that you say that you love, you know? And it's like, I know some guys, if guys do watch this, probably gonna be like, oh, well, you should have never pulled up at his house. You know, one, I was not being ratchet. I wasn't being loud. I wasn't all in his, like, cussing him out or anything like that. I was very quiet about I mean, I was very polite about it. I was just like, hey, can you just give me my stuff? So that does not give you enough reason or not to provoke and want to put your hands on someone. I felt so betrayed. You know, I felt like the person that I care for just didn't care for me, you know? Well, let me stop, y'all. I'm really trying not to ruin my makeup. <laughs> but, um, so fast forward. I I ended up un unblocking him, you know, trying to see if he was going to apologize or anything like that. I didn't hear from him for like a whole month, literally a whole month. And at, at, at that point, you know, I, I did what most people do. I sucked that shit up. I moved on. Gather my thoughts, my feelings. I'm like, okay, I guess it was, I guess we over. I guess it was never meant to be. And out of the blue, he sends me a message, a text message talking about some, you know, I love you. And I'm like, like, nigga, really? Really? 
I love you. Like, that's all you got to say. And, and I know a lot of you all probably thinking, especially if you've never been in a situation like that before, that a lot of you are probably thinking, like, why would you unblock him, you know? Why, why would you even allow him to come back in? And I know you're probably saying, like, oh, that would have never been me, you know? I would have never did that. What a lot of you all don't understand, and even me, I have been very naive to, to stuff like that, is that I used to be the same way. I would say if anyone ever put their hands on me, I'm done. I would never let that happen. It wouldn't be me. I would not go back. But you will never understand until you're in that situation yourself. Something had happened to where you know, I had to go and see him. I really didn't want to. I wasn't I wasn't ready to see him at all. I was not, but I still had I had to go. We had to talk about something that was, you know, very important. So I go to his house. Y'all, I could not for the sake of me look at that man at all like I swear on everything y'all like if he could be right here in front my eyes would be all over, like I my eyes would be all the way over here like y'all I really could not look at that man like I, I it was like the hardest thing to do anytime it was just like I can't explain it I, I really can't explain it unless you've been in that situation to where you can understand why what I mean when I say that like you you can't, you can, I could not look at him. I, I could not look at him for the sake of nothing. I really could not. But I came in, you know, I thought I was, you know, big, big ish, you know, thinking I can handle it. You know, we could talk this out and I, I couldn't hold it in. Like I, I was so hurt. Um, I felt betrayed. And a lot of you don't understand is I know a lot of you thinking like what was I going through? What what was I feeling? What made me want to go wanna go back? You know, when you have your especially your significant other, even for a parent, even if you have your parent, this person that you love and you care for deeply, or or who knows, maybe I thought I loved. But this person that you care for so deeply you know you find comfort in them you know you feel safe being in their arms but this person is also that person that is the part if, if that is the person that's hurting you it, it it can it can confuse you it can make you feel like you know you just you just want to be comfort you just wanted to be comforted like you just want that person to comfort you and love on you because this is the person that you've, you you lo you care for you feel safe and that you know that's that's why I went back of course in the midst of emotions and everything going on he I guess he decides to come clean about everything <sighs> y'all I I think. What he said next really did it for me. It, it had me mentally saying that, okay, I'm over it. So he goes and he tells me that he has a baby due the following next week. Now, <sighs> the baby was not just with a random girl. The baby was with his ex that he was with for like four years, y'all. And the baby was conceived before me and him even started um, seeing each other again. But that wasn't even the point. The point was that that baby was due motherfucking next week. Okay, y'all, that baby was due next week. That right there was like, are you serious? Why, why, why the hell would you wait to tell me this? I was so upset. Mentally... I cared for him still emotionally. I still cared for him. But 
that that kind of was the straw for me it was like i don't i don't think that guys understand you know you may guys think that us as females even them sometimes think that we're automatically supposed to be over something you think that you've already hashed it out it's done when that's not how healing works so in his mind he was thinking that you know we're moving past it okay it's in the past let's go move on forward move let's move forward but you know that day after i left i was like no like I'm, I'm not dealing with that i'm not dealing with the fact that you have a baby on the way I, I was mentally done i just i just i just really couldn't get past you know i couldn't look at him the same i just didn't talk to him and i ended up going back to school so of course things faded out naturally and i didn't i never spoke to him ever again you know but um I mean, yeah, y'all, that's that's kind of the story. I know it's, I wasn't in like a quote-unquote fully abusive relationship, but I definitely ex had my little experience, but that little experience did a lot. You know, people may think like, oh, girl, you only got in one scuffle. No, that, that one experience did a lot to me, completely changed my outlook on a lot of things. And... You know, it truly helped me realize that it could be you. It could be me. Other than that, you guys, that's kind of the story. I do hope that you all, you know, enjoy my story time. And y'all stay tuned for some more videos. Love y'all.